Yeah, so Terrence Gangster Williams, man, is he hot right now? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Damn. Bird, man, he got a documentary coming out. Uh, mm. He got a, and it ain't came out yet because, you know, you got to do certain shit because he, he is his story, but he got niggas like he mentioned in Birdman and shit like that. So he basically got to get a clearance, you feel me? But yeah. I don't think Birdman want to do it. He said he going to get it done. He going to get the job done. But do you think Birdman should block his, his bread to tell his story? Because truthfully, Birdman got uh, the Hot Boys name from him. You feel me? Yeah. He was once part of all that shit. You feel me? But he was really in the streets. Why Birdman was the CEO, you feel me? So, yeah. do you think as brothers, you feel me? I ain't talking about no nigga in the street. As brothers, should I go ahead and say fuck it and let you tell your life story and get you a few, a few coins? You know what I'm saying? Because you ain't asking for shit. I ain't doing shit for you, but you is my brother, even though you did what you did. See, I say baby should shut it down business-wise. Cause now your brand gonna be locked in with a snitching story. You, it, that might be your brother, but to the world that's gonna be a snitch. And then cash money, cash money, Wayne, Wayne, baby, baby, all in his story. Cause that's his life. You know what I mean? So what I think uh, Terrence Gangster Williams should do is do what they did the freeway uh, Ricky Ross life. They stole his life for Snowfall. Steal your okay. own life. Rewrite the story. Change the names. You know what I'm saying? Right. Everybody know you talking about cash money. Everybody know whose story it really is. But just create your own character, man, and do your brand and your book like that. And you could go around, baby. Right, right, right. You right. Yeah, I, I mean, I think basically the same shit. He should just change the story and make it his story. Yeah, change the names. It ain't gotta be cash money. It could be something else. You feel me? But everybody knows cash money. But long as you ain't using these niggas' names, you should be straight. You feel me? I'll leave my name the same. You feel me? But I, it'll be my life, different record label. Yeah. Because he said he had a record label while he was in the joint. So I'll make that be the record label that, and I have the same niggas that. You know, it'll be the same story, but it'll be a different record label and different niggas' names. You feel me? I think he truthfully, instead of doing a documentary, he should do a movie. You feel me? Yeah. A movie would be even more fire, like. It would. It would. Yeah, yeah. The movie would be fire, man. So, Gangsta, Sans Gangsta Williams and Bootsy. Is really Bootsy really on that nigga ass like the nigga snitched on 40 motherfuckers he was wearing a wire he was doing this he was doing that so I, I've never heard none of that you feel me and me Bootsy ain't providing no paperwork to show this is what he did you feel me but, but he's standing on it yeah man he on the internet typing this shit I ain't heard it out of his mouth you feel me yeah so the nigga gangster said he never wore no wire, but his phone was tapped. His phone was tapped, and Bird, Birdman called his phone talking about a pistol. Some, you know, they brothers, so they talking about shit. You feel me? And that was the reason why how they really got him. And um, that's they was trying to have him snitch on cash on Birdman. You feel me? Oh, that's but crazy. he never gave he never gave Birdman up though. So he damn near like Alpo, like I ain't gonna get my brother up, but I do got these couple murders. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah! Everybody who did the dirt dead. Everybody who did the dirt is dead, except for him. He one of the niggas that was involved in the dirt. He just ain't dead. You're yeah, right. He probably did all that shit just landed on niggas. Yeah, all them niggas died before he even went to prison. A lot of a lot of his homeboys, the original hot boys, you feel me? 
damn. So about time, yeah, so about time he get locked up, all his main homeboys is really dead for real. You feel me? So he yeah. ain't got nobody to tell on. Cause them the niggas he was only doing crimes with. Right. Like, yeah. you know, you could say, like, who am I, who, who, niggas only snitch on their homeboys for real. The niggas that's closest to them. You know what I'm saying? So, I feel like, who the hell he had to snitch on? If he didn't tell on cash money, he told on the dead bodies. Who else would he have to tell on? Or you, I know you know other niggas that did committed, you know, murders and shit like that. So that's probably it. You know, I'm talking about the 40 motherfuckers he's supposed to have told on. Yeah, I ain't saying a nigga, I, whatever the fuck you going through, man, never tell, bro. Never snitch, man. That's that's just your life. You know what I mean? Keep that shit solid and shit might work out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, like Boosie say, man, you sit in that bitch, because I think he was only sentenced to like 25 years, for real. 25 to life, you know what I'm saying? If he would have kept up the good behaviors and all, you know what I'm saying? He probably could have got out, man. They let niggas out now, man. Man, listen, bro. They fucking in the city of Detroit. Man, they let niggas out on tether for murder. Yeah, yeah. Facts. You feel me? Niggas run around, then killed and dropped the motherfucker, got a box on his leg. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shit. Yeah, that's it's, crazy. It's getting crazy out here, man. Niggas ain't even, niggas is not even probably paying money and getting out. Got a PR bond, shit like that. We gonna put you on this box. So five thousand, five hundred thousand, five, ten percent. You feel me? Seventy five thousand five, ten percent. Niggas getting out. Niggas putting their grandma house up. It's a money grab. They don't even give a fuck. They don't even give a fuck. You feel me? Yeah, money grab. When you get the tether, you gotta pay the tether bill. You ain't just wearing that bitch for free. They charge you for that. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me like that shit ain't free. 